Hello everybody! Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Factorio. Make sure you all grab your drinks and your tasty treats and come along on the ride and enjoy. So hit pause. Oh yeah, I'm taking my drink. It's usually water. It's typically what I drink. So let's see. So we're in marathon mode and this is all super hard. I have a bunch of these walls. I think we've completed our walls. We're waiting for the gates to finish because we need to build our gates. Because I think the plan was to kind of build this area and then, and then, yeah, I think we can create more here. We can harvest this a bit more. So I'm going to create another row of this thing, I think, somehow. So maybe we'll split this up right here like so All right then we can yeah, maybe that's how we can do it just bring it down and combine it so let's chop this up and this tree up here okay so basically I'll just split the line because it doesn't matter All right and I think I can just take it straight down it shouldn't mix at all which is beautiful and then, how much space do I need? We need, was it, one, two, three, four, five, and the the line. So the output would be here, one, two, three, four, five, and then the line. So that's kind of the space. We need to actually move this down and over, which we'll do. We'll do that. We'll do that. But we'll do this part. Oh, am I building treads anywhere? Are we building belts? Or let's take a look up here. See, this is... Oh, yeah, we are. See, this is how we get distracted with stuff. We get distracted by exactly in this manner. Let's grab another 100 belts there. Perfect. So this will... Oh, this is competing with the, the gear machine because we don't have enough iron. Because we're focusing on ammo but we have a bit of ammo and we have the side filled up with ammo so we're doing okay there we get a bunch of these which is fine we have a bunch of stone that we can process here I'm not sure why we have oh maybe because we need stone for the the furnaces that's probably why so we need to build 10 furnaces I think yeah, so so 20 in total. So I'll probably need that stone that I put away. No, 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 that's fine. A right click is for 5, I think. 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay, uh, steel axe. Oh, that's right. So we're waiting for this to get consumed, and then I'm going to use the steel axes. Perfect. The gates. Come on, gates. Hurry up. <laughs> um, so we're going to do something similar here. Just going to bring this one down, I guess. And then. Yeah, just basically like this. And then this can just go straight down. And then around. Simple as that. The. Oh, okay. So it looks like. Yeah, we'll see how this affects things. But I think this is what we'll do. We'll do this, right? We'll bring this down. But I think then we'll be done with this kind of technology level, right? Because I wish I could copy this and place it down, kind of create a ghost image. But you can't do that without the blueprinting. You probably could with some mods, but the way that we have it as it is, I'm not at that technology level because the technology is going to take a long time in this, which is not too bad. I should slow down the the biters coming so let's carry on with placement so we need a return belt but we'll place these bad boys first because it's just easier to deal with with it once you've actually started placing it before you start using the blueprints that's what I find of course you know if there's any of you that who have played this game a lot more than I have then <laughs> Please, uh, you move on, carry on. You're not going to learn anything new. I doubt you're going to learn anything interesting. 
for those of you who who don't know the game very well and whatnot, then yeah, you know, definitely watch and who knows, you might learn something new or you might uh, be able to school me in some stuff. It's like, yo, why are you doing that, man? You could always do that. And if there are better ways of doing things, I don't mind learning. I think I placed these in the wrong position because I was looking on the top <laughs> for these ones on the bottom. So these ones actually on the bottom are close to each other. So I should be paying attention instead of gabbing with you folks. <laughs> oh well, that's funny. It's so funny. I have the noise gate kind of thing working on my, my recording. So hopefully when I'm not speaking, you won't hear any background noise. No, I'm not saying there would be, but you never know. Sometimes here things go crazy. And yeah, then there's background stuff. Your little your cookies. <laughs> okay, so yeah. So now we can place the belt. We're obviously not gonna have you're not gonna put this into operation until it's done of course. Yeah, and we're gonna have to extend this wall out probably from here maybe, so that way I don't have to move anything. And we're gonna go down like this, like this. Gonna have to chop some trees down. <laughs> this is lots of fun. Because you just basically move and I hold the right click down. We're just gonna make a little area here that we can kind of secure off and put some defenses in. So kind of like around here. I think right about here would be fine. Okay, and let's just place this down. A left click. Uh, this, this is, I think, where it is. Okay. Yeah, looking good, looking good. Let me double it up. Uh, I can't wait to get the, the new steel tools on me. It's going to be so nice. But we got to, of course, chop up the trees that are here. I like the nighttime in this game, it's really cool. It's pretty dark too, but I think you can change the gamma as well if you didn't like it that dark. I don't mind it for dark for recording because I find everything comes through correctly, so I'm not sure what people mean when it's very dark. Unless you're watching on a weird monitor or even through the cell phone, I've noticed that the content comes through as I would intend it to come through. So obviously I have my brightness turned up a bit maybe, but you know I try and keep it to the original what the developer has intended because you kind of want to see what they want you to play the game as, right? That, that's why I like the vanilla experiences and I like experiences that are unique. Um, I don't like, you know, like the modded stuff is okay, but yeah, I don't know. I just like the playing the game as what the developer intended. I do like the modded stuff as well, uh, when Minecraft had the modded stuff, which it still does, and I think that's why Minecraft exists uh, today, is because there's so many people continuing to play Minecraft who play all the modded stuff, right? So, you know, I, I don't know, there's all kinds of modded packages that you can get, which people have, have maintained, but unfortunately they're behind. You know, they're not on the latest and greatest in Minecraft. You know they're like a version behind, and and I understand why, but you know you you will have to advance and move forward still, right? So that's why I got tired of that all that modded stuff because it's very dependent on the game. And plus, Minecraft is Minecraft. It birthed a genre of survival games and everything, right? So yeah, that's what happened. So now you have a whole bunch of survival games that have come out. You know, even until recently here, right, you've had a bunch of games that have come out, like Conan Exiles and Forge of Fire and blah blah blah. There's 
and this, you know, even the dark and light a little bit has some of that stuff, which is kind of funny. So, it, yeah. It's just a reboot of the same kind of stuff. Now other companies are capitalizing upon that industry. And, yeah. And they, and, and they know they can create a game that doesn't need a full, complete story, and people will play it. <laughs> and pay for it. So, that's the other downside. You know, it's like Seven Days to Die. It's taken forever for it to to develop to the level where it's at, right? But actually, let's connect this in before we start powering. Because once we start powering, it's going to start functioning. We don't need very much of space here. Let's do a underground belt here. Let's just patch in right here. I don't think it'll matter. It won't slow anything down. Whoa! Okay, research is done. That's right, I think I have it pop up. So I think we want to do solar panels next. We should take a thousand of... Ooh! <laughs> oh man. This was going to take a long one. I'm tempted doing this one, but we should do the gun turret damage, so that way then we can withhold the, the hordes of, of biters that seem to be coming from the the west there, the west side. Yeah, I think that's the west, yeah. Okay, so this is all ready to receive metal. So let's see what happens when we kick this this up. And I think we're going to have to build more miners. So this is going to be the repercussion. <laughs> so let's just power across the top here. Then I think these get powered here, 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 and here trying to match the one above and then these go in the same position as the ones along the top yeah and then we can place in some lights do I have any lights no let's build five lamps there I need some metal plates need a bunch of these gonna need some oh here is a box duh I should know better <laughs> okay and then there's this box and then actually oh there are gears, gears are being funneled, good okay so I can snag some gears off this line or gears, what am I saying gears and then there's turrets here we do have two turrets, how many turrets is in a stack? Oh, I think 20 no, maybe more than that, okay well that's okay <laughs> because it's getting the bits and pieces of iron but we're going to soon increase that now I want to I want to build a few more now we have some miners okay good because that's what we're short on is iron so now it looks like we're getting a supply of iron so now we're going to be short in this aspect so we need to provide more material on the line here so let's do that <laughs> oh boy and then we have increased pollution and yeah it just goes on and on well, this is why Factorio is, is an amazing game because uh, it's just yeah it's amazing I just I like how you have to manage all of these different little things and it's very deep in that manner and you can manage these things in any way you choose so that's what's cool too so the way I'm building these and the way I'm adding power to these are all uniquely my own versus it could be someone else's could be a mix I try and think it's my own but I can put a light up here as well I think I'm doing every other one right so lights no light light okay so that's that maybe I might add another row because it's definitely not yeah it's not filling in so we'll do another row and kind of tie it in I think that's how we'll do it so the miners what do we need to build the miners electronic circuit iron gear and iron plates see again we're going into where we need materials so we're gonna have to expand upward here already we need some gates how do we build some gates 5, 10. Let's build some gates. I want to create kind of an entry point, exit point. It's maybe about right here. 
Yeah, because it's a nice clean area here. And so then we can do a gate here. We'll do a nice personal size gate at first. I don't know, maybe we'll do it vehicle sized. Yeah, we'll do it vehicle sized. I think that's how, how wide the vehicles are. I might have to readdress that. But I do want to put a turret on either side of this. All right, and I do want to put in some ammo into each of these. 48, 49, 50. Perfect. Okay, we need to pick up some more ammo. Okay, so we need to expand upward. So, we got a lot of walls. So, if we put another turret, let's see, one. So yeah, okay, so I'm going to place another turret. One, two, three, four, five. So, that could be the corner right so the corner would be right here which means that block would be gone and this would be one block away because i like to keep a one block space in between the turrets and the outside with the two so this would be the inner and this should be the outer so let's see here so if we go outer inner so something like that uh, not of course not that part but something like that going up that way we have room on this side for any expansion and stuff and we can kind of expand this wall as we need to as well so let's see how far up we can go before we get any kind of barrier hmm. I'm gonna cut through the trees here because I want to kind of include that uranium deposits because we're gonna have our base spread around I think some people usually have their base all tightly compact, but I think we're going to have to rip up this whole base anyways, because that's something I like to do once I get the robots and everything in play. But the, there's a few basic things you can build on the bus, but then you get to a, a physical limitation of the bus, and that's when you know you kind of cap out. So... Which means that we should be able to do this so that way we can have our uranium processing up here. We can kind of move towards that. Should be kind of nice. Maybe, maybe get some interesting weapons. Oh, look at that. Looks like there are bases. So we're going to need some more radar units probably. For sure. What's going on here? Why is this so slow? Let's zoom in again. Is there so many trees here? Is that my problem? That could be. <laughs> look at all these trees man look at all these trees you know what? I'm not even keeping track of the time oh boy what a good host sheesh okay so let's just kind of place it in uh, we're still have to chop some trees down oh boy Lots of trees. We have to dump this into the fuel system. Or into the steam system. Yeah, I think that's... That's going to be the top. It looks like they fixed the, the mapping. It looks like we can see all our map, which is amazing. I like that. It's going to run straight up. And hopefully we have enough bricks. And of course... Of course there's trees in our way, right? It would just be too easy. Too easy to do it the first time, right? Okay, so that's good. This is the outside. I can remember on the outside. So maybe we'll just come up from the bottom so that way we can kind of prepare for that horde. So we're going to have to take that out. That's obviously encroached upon our territory. So let's chop up some trees here and build a way up. Because then we're going to extend this, these defenses upwards. Ah oh man, this is so fun. I think I have it on the expanding... Um, yeah, you know, where they expand basically, which kind of sucks because that's going to slow us down drastically. I'm not sure how many episodes we're going to get out of this. But we're probably going to be doing a long haul. Probably about 80 episodes. Easy, easy, easy. 
So yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to keep you entertained. You know, it's been basically going to be just watching me how I I block off stuff, I secure things, and how we we move forward with things. Looks like I need to pick up some more bricks or blocks. It looks like we can take this out as well, which is good. That means here's some more blocks to work with. See, you're going to find that we're going to be reusing our blocks because that's just the right thing to do. And so usually I'll just go running up and down the strip here. Traditionally, you know, I would go and edit the footage, but I found it's just easier to record a certain particular time and then go from there, right? So looks like we have about 10 minutes left. So yeah, yeah, it's, it's amazing how quick this goes by for me. And yeah, and the entertaining part, hopefully for all of you, is just to watch this and with me babbling. <laughs> babbling to myself. It's awesome. Man, with robots, this is all going to be sped up. Like, you basically will have... You know, like cybernetic enhancements. Well, not cybernetic, but there's uh, an exosuit that you can have, which then lets you go faster. I'm not sure what it's called exactly, of course, the, but I do know that you have. We have access to that. I'm just cutting up more trees because we're gonna be adding more walls, and this is just the way it goes. You know, one moment you're chopping trees and stuff like that, and next moment you're you're running around placing more more blocks. The next moment you're panicking because oh no, the biters are coming. Uh, and then you're you're on this mission of trying to secure more resources. Yeah, it just it bounces around. This really helps for those people that like if you have a, a one-track mind and you 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 stay focused on one thing, I think you run into a problem with the game but I think for those of us who play this game a little bit more it feels like that oh, I love the glow of that uranium it's an amazing new effect they added oh yeah we need more walls cool we're almost we're almost we almost got a whole area here secured and then we'll have to well kind of secured of course of course we have to put in turrets and everything if we had them break in, they would just r rush right in. I should have maybe kept that wall up, but ah, whatever. It's all just a game, right? So for science, you know, the quicker we can end this with my death, the the quicker we'll we'll <laughs> like death as in you know finish finish. But yeah, we'll just take all of them. We'll continue production of this the stone here. We'll, we'll basically harvest out this completely, which it's already starting to, to be harvested out, so, which means that I can probably disconnect these two pieces of equipment, and this is what you're going to start seeing, is we're going to start dismantling, you know, pieces of this as we don't need it, right, so we'll even be able to cut this off. And which means that we'll be able to dump our wood into here. Like just like that. I'll just throw all of that in there. Doesn't matter. Because it'll get used up. It'll get consumed in this thing here. But this thing still is not chewing up the wood. Oh, that's so frustrating. What would happen if I did that? Yeah, see, it's, it's not. So what about if we did... This, 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 and this. No, see, it's still taking from, like, the fourth one in. It's interesting. Oh, well. I was hoping that we could get around that, but obviously not. Ooh, but we should put these in the red, because the red would 
we'll prioritize because it's further to the right. Let me do it like that. That way, when it fills up the coal, it fills it up. Oh, oh, yeah. So it's coming from these bases here. So now we know. So now we need to reload. Let's see. Oh, no, 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 no. Back. Trying to only have 50 rounds in here, right? Because having hundreds of rounds in there in the beginning is expensive. So we usually just, at least what I do is I try and keep, I keep this going like this. I just basically add the 50 and then once we have that, we can keep going up. So I'm going to probably grab a bunch of ammo here. I'm going to place down some turrets. And this turret I think is too far up. It looks... Uh, maybe the shadows are throwing me off. So I thought we were counting. Right, we made sure... One, two, three, four. Yeah, no, it's good. Just the shadows are throwing it off. So the ammo here looks like we have a full stack, which is good. And it looks like it's continuing. We got some iron there. Can we throw some... See, you'll see this pop up a lot because it burns through the fuel really fast. Looks like we need more iron still. See, this is that little looping circular thingy that we're doing. So uh, we should actually automate these bad boys. Because we still... Kinda, ah, let's just build them by hand. It's fine. So it looks like we need more iron. So I have my iron that I skim right here. Just take all of that. Okay, so let's build another column. I think that would be the best way to do it. And it should be coming in here. Okay, so we'll just basically do that and that. Yeah, and then just work our way up. Simple as that. Yeah, there we go. That works. And then maybe we'll do this side dominant. I usually like to alternate the sides. Just in case if there's a thing there. I'm not sure. But Factorio does behave kind of interestingly. So we're going to do the same kind of thing, I think. We'll just off the top. Like that. This one's on the wrong side here. That's how we got it backwards, right? Light there. And then we can do that with the light there. And then that with that. That's better. We could put a light. Okay, so now this will do the same thing. We'll do the light here. And we'll kind of alternate the lights. And let's hook this up to the main part of the system like this. Same way. Identically. Bam. And then we can hook in... Let's build some of these, five of these. Okay, and let's hook it in right here. Should be relatively kosher, let's see. Shabam. Okay, so that should thicken up the line. Should compress it. We're gonna have to add more, more miners, of course. Uh, do we have enough? We can build five more. Let's grab some more electronic circuits. And might as well... Oh, that's starting to build up. Yes. Nice. But we're going to take a bunch of electronic circuits here. And we're going to make five of these. So like we need more iron. <laughs> How are the bullets coming through? Okay, we need to need more. And we're siphoning. So let's grab that. 
Okay, so there you go, folks. That is another episode. So we kind of expanded the iron. Hopefully now we have more iron coming down the line, which it looks like. Looks like there's more plentiful iron. And which means that slowly production will increase for everything. Uh, there's always iron here, which now looks like our limitation is our copper here. We don't have enough copper coming in. So we're going to have to add more copper things in the next episode. So yeah, so thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye-bye.